Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, what we'll try to do is we'll try to do the auto login feature. For example, if you see here testadrettest.com and one, two, three, four, five, six. If I try to do the login here, so it is able to successfully login. But if I refresh the page, what it is happening again? The login details is going away. So now in this video, what we'll try to do is we will try to save the data in the local storage and also we'll try to retain the a login functionality when the when the user tries 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 to refresh all refresh the page also now we'll try to see now here what we need to do is so here what we can do let's go to the auth.fx.ts okay so let's open this auth.fx.ts this is the auth.fx.ts and when we need to do here this is the login we need to do and here we get we got the user now here we need to do the necessary action so what we can do yeah let's go to the auth service okay let's go to the auth service.ts okay in this auth service.ts what i will try to do is um, what we can do here in the auth effects we got the format user means we got the user so let's save this user okay first what we'll try to do is we'll uh, this dot okay auth service dot okay set user data or otherwise set user in local storage we'll try to add the functionality set user in the local storage now we'll send this user data okay so we have did one action so in the auth service what i will try to do is here we are having the format user get error message everything here here we have we have right now here i will be getting user of type user okay now what i need to do what i can do is here we have the user just set it local storage dot set item oh sorry local storage dot set item and we can give some fixed you are the name okay the name and we can do json dot stringify so we can we can make it as a string and we can save the user okay now this is the we have set the data okay this is the user how we can set the data now what i need to do so i need to do the auto login functionality so we are setting the user here and what we need to do is so after setting the user here we need to run the timer why we need to run the timer is so when when this automatically login is done so this token will be valid up to one hour so we have the expiration date so now we will run the timer so that after that particular timer after that particular timer runs you can get the refresh token or otherwise you can make it auto logout so we will try to make it auto logout here what i will try to do is constant two days date is equal to new date dot get time sorry get time okay now what i need to date constant expiration date expiration date is equal to so user dot expiration we are not able to get why because it so all are private so now we will write one getter function get expire date or something like this okay so what it will return is return this dot expiration date okay now i can take this getter getter thing and here i can write expire date okay so i got the expire date dot get time okay i can use the get time as it is a date function okay date we are sending now here constant time interval is equal to what i can write here expiration date minus today's date so you will get the number of milliseconds now what i will try to do is set timeout okay so here i will be having the function and here what i can do time interval okay now here i can do so login logout functionality so logout functionality or get the refresh token okay so this is the functionality what we need to do so here we have written the uh, timeout thing so now here we will write here uh, what we can write is time interval timeout interval or otherwise timeout 
interval okay of type any we will keep it of type of any so this timeout interval where it will be existing is so we will save this one in the timeout interval this dot timeout interval is equal to so now we have used this set user in the local storage now what we can do here in the auth effects or something like this where is this uh, auth effects so we are here we are calling the use the thing like the same thing we can call it in the sign up also sign up also we are uh, restring right so we can use this one now what i will try to do here i can go into this login functionality okay i am able to go into the login functionality let's open the inspect element okay i have opened the inspect element and if i go to the network sorry in the application in the local storage so there is no data saved so here i can write test at the test.com and one two three four five six okay now here i can do login so immediately user data has been saved here you will be able to see that email expiration date local id and the token has been saved we are able to log out so that means we are successfully saving that local storage the data now if i try to refresh it is going again to the login functionality but the local storage is already existing now what we need to do is when we are trying to refresh this one we need to make use of this local storage data if the local storage data is present take this data and save it in the user and again save it in the state management so that again it maintains the login logout thing now what i need to do here where we can call this one for every refresh we need to call one action that is nothing but the auto login action now what i can do is let's try to create the auto login so here in the auth actions okay here i can call something like export constant auto underscore login underscore action okay here i can write something like auth page auto login so i can take this auto login and here i can create a action auto login is equal to create action of auto underscore login so that's it so there is no need of to get the props and all those things right so auto login now where we need to call this action so in the app component so this is the component where we it will be loaded all the time right so let's go to the app component dot ts and here in the ng on init what i can do is this dot store sorry this dot store dot dispatch of what i can do auto login i can call this auto login okay we call this auto login so now let's try to see whenever we are trying to refresh this one auto login is running or not if you go into the redux and if we try to refresh this page so whether this page is executing or not yeah here auto login is firing so that means our action is firing now what we need to do is using this action whenever this action is fired we need to check the local storage and all those things we need to check so where can we write this auto login thing and all those things so we can use the auth effects okay effects thing now here what i can do i can create one feature something like auto login dollar is equal to create effect okay i can use this create effect and what i can do here in this create effect what i can do we need to we need to do the auto login right so now here i need to return this dot action dollar dot pipe of of type so we need to auto login okay so auto login this is the thing sorry auto login we what is this happening of type okay okay comma so what we can do here merge map merge map we can use the merge map and we can get the action and here we need to write the functionality and first what we need to do is we need to get the user data so constant user is equal to okay constant user is equal to this dot auth service we again will call this auth service auth service dot get user from local storage okay first it will get the user from the local storage so what i will try to do we will try to design this one auth service now here i will try to get user from local storage okay first constant user data is equal to user data we will be getting in the string modify so local storage dot get item of 
user data now if user data string is present if it is present okay if it is present what we need to do we need to convert this one constant or otherwise we, if it is not present means we can just return null null so there is no nothing to be uh, interfere if user data string user data string is present constant user data is equal to user data is equal to json sorry json dot parse we need to parse this one user data string okay we need to parse this user data string now what i need to do i need to convert this user data string into the user so what i can do constant user is equal to new user of user data dot what i will be getting email user data dot token okay in that we will be it will be existing right user data dot dot local id and i will be having user data dot expiration date expiration date as it will be existing in the what i can say in the string format what we will try to do is so here i can convert constant expiration date is equal to new date of we can send this one directly okay and i can use this expiration date directly here okay so i have converted into i have converted this one into new user so we got the user user object now here what i need to do so we need to run the time interval so what i can do so the same concept we can take the same concept okay we can take the same concept so what i can do is so here or otherwise what we can do is this dot run timeout or something like this run timeout interval of oh sorry what what we what is the thing we are having okay we are having the user right so this dot run timeout interval of user we will send this user and here i can do run timeout timeout interval okay of the user of type user you it will be getting the user of type user and we can run like this so it will run the functionality and here i can i can directly i got the user i can run this dot run this dot run oh sorry run timeout interval of that sorry of that user okay now what i can do i can return the user so i will return the user so now we got the user and here in the auth effects what we are getting we are getting the user and what we need to hear so we got the user and what we need to hear what we need to hear here. so if we try to console.log here console.log user okay so if we try to console.log user and if i try to check here so now if i log in and test at the rate sorry test at the rate test.com one two three four five six login if i try to do the login we are not able to get any data okay so why we are not getting any data this is because we are in the if you try to see we are in the home page okay and the auth effects what it is running here it is in the oh sorry here we are having some error right so now what we can do is so here here i can do the map for the time being and i can do the dispatch false here dispatch false okay so nothing could be the problem here i think this could be somewhat like yeah so this is correct this is correct yeah no problem nothing so if you try to see the errors errors are no errors so successfully compiled now if you try to see here now nothing is happening uh, nothing is firing so if you try to see here in the auth module so this this auth module the auth fx is in the auth module and we are now in the home page auth module is not at all loaded up to now why because auth module is loaded when we click on the login login only when we click on the login so if you try to refresh it here now we will be able to get the console data okay so now how we can do this one so now we can copy this one okay and we can paste it in the app dot 
app dot module dot ts so we need to for root we need to place it in the for root okay now here if i try to refresh this one if i go to the yeah now if i try to see if i see i am able to get the data user data if i go to the home page and if i try to refresh it again i am getting i am able to get the user data see how how fine uh, so this is user is coming from the authfx.t if you try to see here i am getting from the authfx.ts only so by shifting this one into the app module why because in this app reducer you are having this one you are having the auth module so in the same reason in the same scenario authfx if you move it into the root you can get the data or otherwise what you can do is you can simply uh, this is the only only auth module which is only the auth effect which is responsible for to keep in the root storage right so you can create a separate file for this one and you can place that file in the root also so uh, so we successfully got the user data now in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to save this user in the state back again and we'll try to maintain the data so in the next video we will see the saving that user data what we have get, got from the local storage we'll save it in the state management and also we'll implement the logout functionality also okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you